Hello, folks. How you doing? It's Danny Tisdale, and it's the Danny Tisdale Show, and we are on location uh, for a first time, you could say, and we're at the uh, first annual Schomburg Literary Festival with the Harlem Writers Guild. Uh, and as you can hear, it's, uh, we're recording live uh, with uh, some of the members from the Harlem Writers Guild. Uh, bear with us because we're on location and the members are at that location. Please. And Just getting the best please. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was um, me talking to one of the staff members of the shop bar. Um, uh, so what we'll do to uh, start it off is we'll have each of the members introduce themselves. Uh, Eartha, are you there? Eartha. Eartha. Yes, I am. Eartha. I'm here, Danny. Can you hear me? Eartha. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Hi, Danny. Hey, Eartha. How are you? So what we're uh, – doing is to uh, really introduce each of the uh, Harlem Writer Guild members that are there, and then uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on, and maybe each Hello? Hello, hi, Danny. Yes, I can hear you. Everybody Hello. mute and speaking. Hi, Danny. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Hi, yeah, it's me. Hi. Um, yeah, we're here today so, uh, at the... Uh, what, who is there with you, and what's going on? So we're here at the Schomburg Literary Festival, and I'm here with our um, Harlem Writers Guild president, Diane Richards, and I'm here with political blogger and poet and essayist, Mr. Mark Polite, and I'm here with uh, literary fiction author uh, Judy Andrews, and we're out here for the Schaumburg Library's first literary festival, and it's it's a great turnout. It's a beautiful, lovely day, and uh, we're enjoying it. So what is the uh, festival about? Um, I, I saw a little bit of it online. Can you tell me a little bit about it so that we can go right to the Guild and what you're doing and the celebration? Well, um, the Schaumburg Library has been an institution in Harlem for uh, as far back as I can remember. And it's um, it's where the Harlem Writers Guild, we meet here every uh, twice a month. And uh, they're actually having a, a book festival. So they have uh, individual book publishers, uh, individual, uh, like us, the Harlem Writers Guild, we have a table. Then there's representatives from several libraries along with representatives from publishing houses, and we all have, we each have a, a relatively large pen, and we're, we're discussing our books with readers and introducing ourselves and showcasing our books and talking about our organizations and what we do, and it, it's a great day. And Everybody here is, is an avid reader, so it's, a, it's an interesting, an interesting dialogue going, but it's definitely a lovely experience. Oh, fantastic. So uh, who's going to talk about the... And well, to really uh, just do a blurb about the um, Harlem Writers Guild. Okay, so I, I will introduce our, our director, Ms. Diane Richards, and she will tell you about the Harlem Writers Guild. Hi, Danny. Can you hear me? Hello, Diane. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. The Harlem Writers Guild next year in 2020 will be celebrating 70 years in existence. And we are, we are planning a celebration along with other literary institutions and hopefully with people like it, institutions like the Schaumburg, um, Dr. John Henry Clark House, uh, other notable writers. And uh, we, we really want to... Uh, bring visibility to the fact that we've existed for 70 years and we're determined to march on. That's fantastic, Diane. And when um, when will you start uh, the 70th year anniversary? Is that the summer of next year? Because I know that 2020 starts that, uh, that uh, 70 year anniversary. Yeah, I think our celebrations, we're 
notify our uh, readers and people who, who are our patrons. We're looking, we haven't burned it up yet, but we're looking at the fall, the fall of 2020. To make the big, to make the big events and celebrations. So, Diane, who else is there uh, that are okay. other members of the uh, guild? Mark Polite is here, and I think you okay. might want to talk to this man. Most definitely. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing, Mark? Yes. yes. Hello? Can you hear me, Mark? Yes. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can hear you just fine, Danny. What's good? What's good? Yeah, good, good, so, good. So... Uh, how things going at the um, festival, and tell us a little bit about uh, being a member of the guild. Oh, okay, so you know, first off, things are going really well. Um, first of all, it's it a beautiful like day it, in Harlem. It sounds like you guys are busy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 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 just whatever. Beautiful day, weather's <laughs> nice. You know, people are talkative. You know, they work over oh, to great. the table and ask information about the guild and. You know, it's all good things. It's all love. You know, it's a lot of people who come here who are real, who are readers who want to know about what's happening currently in black literature, and it's, it's really a beautiful thing to witness. And for, for it to be the first year, the impact is already uh, undeniable. So, you know, oh, really? I'll Fantastic. say that to begin with. Um, as, as as a member of the, so the guild, Mark, like I, I'm trying to be. Yeah. Is that just going to yeah. be one day of the Schomburg Literary Festival? Uh, and then uh, we look forward to 2020, or is it for for a couple of days? Okay, I mean, so so far from what I see, this event is is just a one day is one day. Uh, it's all day okay. t- until six. Um, we have we have a few things that we uh, have in the in the pipeline. We're going to be at the Harlem Book Fair in about three weeks. We uh, the okay, guild, uh, as a group we plan to be at the Brooklyn Book Festival. Uh, so wow. we have a few things coming up in between now and 2020 that people who are interested in us should look out for. So, um, you know, that's that's kind of the gist of where we're going. We're just trying to uh, branch out and, and be not just uh, like Harlem Writers Guild, but just let all of New York City know who we are and what our history is and what we stand for. So that's, that's, oh, that's the goal. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So, uh, and, and Mark, before you uh, uh, pass the mic, I guess you could say to who's the other member that's there. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, who well, else is here? And, 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 uh, and, Judy and Andrews Mark. is here. And Mark, uh, Mark. she's, yes, yeah. set. set. Hold, set hold on a second. Before before you go, uh, okay. I know that you have a site and that you are a writer yourself. Uh, okay. Tell us a little bit about your site and uh, okay. what you do. Okay, sure, sure. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, I, in addition to being a, an author, I also uh, am a blogger. I run a site called politeonsociety.com, and I have run. Uh, it's been in existence for the past ten years. I just celebrated the ten year anniversary of Polite Society, its foundation, back in May. I had an event. Congratulations. At, um, you know, thank you. I had I had an event at uh, Sisters Uptown Bookstore in Harlem. And a lot of people came. A lot of people from the Harlem community came out and you know embraced you know what I'm about. And I got a chance to talk about what we plan to do in the future. And then, of course, that includes right. the Harlem Writers Guild. So you know, so that's that's, that's what I have. Fantastic. You know, that's what I've been doing. That's what we're working on. So. Congratulations, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, man. So so thank they you. say pass the mic. Who who else? Who are you okay. passing the mic to? Oh, okay, I'm You're passing the mic to Judy. Judy. You know, Judy Andrews. You know, um, she's Hello, the author of Ocean of Jewels. Hello hey, there, Judy, how, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fantastic. I'm hot. <laughs> really hot. <laughs> but I'm having <laughs> a great time. And, you know, you made me laugh, so now I have a cramp in my side. So I really enjoyed Uh-oh, myself. I, you're just blaming me for all <laughs> kind of stuff over there. Yes, uh, but we are having a good time, and the weather is cooperating. It's beautiful out here, and we are enjoying ourselves. I have sold a few books and given out oh, a few nice. flyers. This is the first literary festival that the Schomburg has had, and we hope that, you know, they get to have hundreds more. And what's really well, that's nice pretty about amazing the festival, that it's the first one. Yes, it is. What's nice about the festival is that people are here to buy books, and we only have book vendors. 
Because, you know, nice. in Harlem, you can go get food anywhere. You can go get other stuff anywhere. But books, that's very important. We have so many of them. And we have yeah, and if you've got food, you need a book ourselves. with it. You need what a book that? with food. Any t- I say any t- anytime you're doing anything, you need a book. To go along with you, you know, if you're getting food, well, you if you're getting the, ice cream to cool off, you still need books. Well, that's so beautiful about Harlem. They have restaurants all around us where people can go and get their food. We even have some trucks out here. I had me some ginger beer, and I had some cream soda left over, but Ooh. I can't drink that right now. But we have some wonderful nice. book vendors out here. Actually, I got a free book about uh, from uh, from an author named Shamar. Will, Shamari Will, and I've been looking for that book for a while. He gave it to me for free. He wrote about wow. black fortunes of the 1900s, and you have all of these black millionaires who, you know, are, are their families are still thriving today. Right. So I thought right. that was a delight. And they're, they're giving away from Amistad Press and HarperCollins free books. Nice. And That's fantastic. free well-known books. So the Harlem Writers Guild is selling their books, however. So if you, you know, can come down to 135th Street and Malcolm X Boulevard, we are here and we have a beautiful table and we're celebrating our books and they're on sale. It, it, and and what uh, time is the festival over? Because uh, fe- what is three o'clock ends now? At 6 three p.m. Right. We okay. have three more hours. The three more hours. Ends, the festival ends at six. PM. So let me ask you also, you said that you're selling your book, and yeah. believe it or not, there may be somebody listening who doesn't know about your book. Can you give a quick uh, description of your book and your title so that people know what you're doing and where they can get it? Yes, An Ocean of Jewels is the name of my book. It is about a young woman who was, recent, who was in foster care who grows up to become a teacher. While she's teaching, she rediscovers her Gullah Geechee history. You know the Gullah and Geechee are oh, cultural tradition, yes. histories that are spoken and lived throughout the South, particularly Florida, South Carolina, and Georgia. And people speak a unique language that's a cross between Pigeon and Creole. And uh, if I said to you all, that's up to the notch, I'm fixing to fix something really good tonight. I hope you have some fried chicken ready when I get home, but I'm going to have some sweet potato pie and a little bit of candy yam with that. It's a little bit of gully and geeky combined. So that book Very has nice. really been selling nicely at book fairs. And this summer I will have a new book out called A oh, Gift nice. Treasure. And that is about medical fraud, sex trafficking, and abuse that goes on in a small, upper-middle-class town in Jewel Park, New York. So, and um, uh, can that book be purchased on Amazon? Yes, they both books can be oh, purchased fantastic. on Amazon. A Gift to Treasure is not out yet, but it will be available soon, and you'll be able to purchase it on Amazon and at your favorite bookstore. An Ocean of Jewels can be purchased at your favorite bookstore, and my website is blessedbrown.com. Fantastic. Thank you very much. We're going to take a quick uh, station ID, and can you uh, share that mic with someone else so that by the time I come back, we can see who's next on the list here? Thank you very much. Okay, and I guess we folks, can bring it back to You're listening us. to Harlem World Magazine Radio, and it's the Danny Tisdale Show, and guess who? I'm Danny Tisdale, and we're talking to... Harlem Writer Guild members as they celebrate their 70th anniversary in uh, 2020. Hey, Danny. Hello yeah. there. Hey, Ursula. Hey, Danny. Who's next on the list? Are, that wasn't everybody, was it? Thank yeah, you. that was not. Next will be me again. Oh, fantastic. So, Earth, I forgot to ask you, what, uh, you're there with your book. What is your book? And tell us a little bit about your book. Okay, I'm here with Love Changes, and also I'm here with uh, a planner is a girl's best friend, and also the Soleil West planner, the student planner. And um, it, it's, it's a beautiful day, and we have uh, 
patrons of all ages. We have whole families out here. Ursa, let me ask you before you uh, go forward, um, can your book be purchased on Amazon? Yes, yes. It can be purchased on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, yes, and also um, they can connect with me on social media at Ursa Tone. And the Harlem um, Writers Guild, please, please connect with us. We're on uh, online, the, the www.theharlemwritersguild.org. Yes, that and, and, and I, I heard somebody say also on Twitter. Yes, we're yes. also on Twitter and we're also on Instagram. So please connect with us. And on Facebook. Yes. And on okay, Facebook. fantastic. You know, I have a question for... Uh, all of the writers that are there from the Harlem Writers Guild. And let me ask you the question first, and then maybe you can hand the mic to each one of them, you know, for a response. Um, You know, people are always listening, and they, you know, we have leaders, legends, and trailblazers on the show. And quite frankly, the Harlem Writers Guild falls under all of that. But for those people who want to follow in your footsteps as a writer, what kind of advice do the Harlem Writer Guild members have for people who want to be writers? Well, one is to keep writing and to to just get the content out. Whatever inspires you, you keep writing. And what we do collectively is that we meet amongst each other and we read each other, but we read our own work to each other to get feedback from each other. That way we can improve on what we have. So we we meet twice a month, and we offer feedback and constructive criticism, and we offer honest criticism. So, like, I know me, that's that's really helped me come a long, long way as a writer, and it's helped me develop, and has helped me to notice all the fine points of the story that I may not have noticed. You know, I had you know, I had a nice sense and good good amount of time with it. So, you know, we're one big family and we're all gifted writers and we all have our own opinions, our own experiences, our own insights and we meet and we use those skills to benefit each other so that we all create stronger work. So, uh, Eartha, can you uh, uh, share the mic with another one of the writers and so that they can answer the same question? Okay, that'll be Diane. Hi, thanks for having us again. My suggestion, not advice, but my suggestion to writers is to write every day and to keep your own counsel. That means don't look around everybody for the answer to questions you have. Um, And... That's a good point, Diane, because some people look for greener pastures in other places. So you're saying focus on what you want to do, do your own thing, stay in your lane. Yeah, yeah, keep your own counsel. Um, You can be open for suggestions, but a writer has a voice, and that's what you want to find. You want to find your voice. Try to, in any way you can, Cultivate belief in your success. It's very, very hard for black writers because literary agents, the publishing business, all of them have their, you know who they, they tend to want to publish and to represent. So therefore, that's why the whole writing field is very unique. We believe in ourselves. We believe in what we want to say. We have a purpose. So writers can always look to us. If they doubt anything, we will support them, whether they're part of the field or not. Believe in yourself, keep your own counsel, and keep writing. Writing is an activity, is an action. It is not in your head walking around thinking about what you're going to write. You must put pen to paper or hands to the computer, however you want to write. Write on a daily basis, at least five minutes. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Diane. And, Diane, if you could pass the mic to one of the other writers and so that they can answer the same question also. Very curious in the uh, writer's process. Okay, to Mark, polite. Yeah, you you can hear me? (laughs) Yeah, I can hear you, Mark. We're right back to where we were. All right. Okay, so, yeah, so, like, how I would answer the question is... Um, and that question I, is, 
you know, what advice do you have for someone listening uh, who would want to follow in uh, the Harlem Writers Guild tradition of writing? Okay. What I would say to those that person is write what feels true to you. Um, don't try to water it down or adjust it up to just try to pass through the certain corridors because it'll be inauthentic, and people can recognize that. You know, if it's, inauth- if it's, if it's an inauthentic right. yeah. message, good point. Good then point. It may it may make it to the mainstream, but. But when you get when it gets there, it'll fall apart under under its own contradictions, and it won't stand the test of time. You know, even some of, uh, if you think about some of our, uh, the famous writers who were part of the the Harlem Writers Guild, like for example John Henry Clark, his writings were controversial at the time, right? But his his statements stood the test of time, and it actually stands up under under the reality that we see ourselves. You know, and it's just like, you know, you have to be authentic in order to stand the test of time. So that's that's what I would encourage writers to do: be true to yourself and stand in your truth. That you that, that, those are very good points, uh, Mark. And you know, I had a question, and uh, you know, maybe you can answer it, Eartha or anyone. But you know, you guys are part of you guys are the Harlem Writers Guild. How important is it to be with other writers who write and have that sense of community? No, it it is very important because you know it actually helps you uh, develop your craft and work on your craft. You know, um, right? Like as, as in addition to being an essayist, I'm also a poet, right? Um, I've gotten feedback from the Harlem Writers Guild, and in, in, in I share my poetry, you know, with them in, as part of the group sessions. And what they've helped me do is to kind of hone my message, and you know, uh, focus on you know word choices that uh, kind of illuminate what I'm what I'm trying to bring forward. So the the constructive criticism has helped my art form, and it has helped me uh, extend, uh, you know, past places I would have gone, you know, right. uh, on my own. So, you know, I, so I say, uh, in my opinion, the feedback of other writers is vital to the to the um, the process of, of honing your own craft. So, Mark, that's a very good point. I'm curious whether. You know, Eartha or Diane or some of the other writers agree with you. Can you pass the mic with them and see if, you know, they agree or disagree or would yeah. want to add to that point? Oh, okay, Thanks, so I'm going to pass it to, to Judy, you know, to uh, chime in. Thanks. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Hey, Judy, did everything you hear the question? Diane, yes, everything to Diane, okay. Eartha, and, and um, everything that Diane, Mark, and Eartha have said, I agree with. Um I believe that the best way to join to to write is to join an organization. The advice that I would give would be to join a respectful writing organization that can help you hone your craft. I think it's important for you to take criticism and accept it and at the same Ooh. time write every day. It's important for you to write and to read other writers' work. It's important but you. isn't it tough to take criticism because you're, you know, you create from your heart, you create from your emo- your emotions. So you're saying it just to be open to that yes, to be open. and don't take it personally. Yes. Yes. Don't take it personally. Yes, Diane would like to add to that. Yes. So, Thank you. Uh, Danny, okay. I think I, I think I know what you're trying to get at. So. One of the things, the culture of the Harlem Writers Guild, we are non-competitive, okay? When one of us becomes a hit or a success, we all share in that success. So any, oh, that's fantastic. any, criti- right, any, criti- any um, negative criticism is not tolerated. If, mm-hmm. So you have to be careful when you join writing groups that people genuinely want good for you. And right. it's not about a chit chat. It's not about socializing. It's about getting down the business and creating compelling literature. But at the same time, we want the best for the oh. people who we're sharing that experience with. That's a, that's a very good point. Um Hello? Yes, I'm yes, still here. I'm gonna okay, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to uh, make sure that 
Uh, you know, we're at our last five minutes here. If not, we're at the four-minute mark. And was there someone else to uh, talk about that question, or can I go to another question? Judy, we can, I'm going to pass it back to Judy. Okay, yes, great. it's important Judy. for you to realize if you're in an organization like the Harlem Writers Guild, everyone succeeds when one person succeeds, and we have to be able to support each other and not be critical to a point where you're hurting someone's feelings because writers are very sensitive about their work. Believe yes. me, I'm dealing with that right now <laughs> with, um, <laughs> you know, with someone editing my work. It's like, no, oh, I don't want the yeah. comma there. I want the comma right, somewhere right. else. So you do have to be tactful, kind, and generous with, with the way that you present your critique. So I'll pass it back. You're right, to because Arthur. you may be working mm-hmm. with someone, Judy, who is not familiar with your work and they're commenting on your work. Yes, that's true. That's true. I'm going through that now. I have a new book that's coming out in the summer called A Gift to Treasure. And, boy, it has been an experience to be able to re-edit my work because I think, oh, I already, I did it right. What are you talking about? I have to change this. And then you have to say, wait a minute, that's correct. That is right. I do have to change it. So you have to be able to take criticism and you have to be able to give it, give it in a tactful manner. So I'll and take, take your ego out of it. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's right. right. Yeah, hi, Dylan. Uh, hey, Eartha. Uh-huh. Well, mm-hmm. you know, thank you, Eartha, for uh, hooking us up. I know it was the last minute, but I appreciate it, and I know our listeners will also. Uh, Eartha, can you give all the information where our listeners can uh, stay in contact with the Harlem Writers Guild and if they're writers how they can become possible members and how they can help celebrate the anniversary of uh, the 70 years not 7, not 17 but 70 years of the Harlem Writers Guild Yes, 70 years, celebrating 70 years of literary excellence, and they can connect with us on social media. We have a website, www.theharlemwritersguild.org. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so they can connect with us there. We're also at the uh, Harlem Book Fair, which is July 20th, and then we're at the Brooklyn Book Fair. Festival, which I believe is the third Saturday in Brooklyn, which I think is the 16th. That's actually Sunday, September 20th, September 22nd. 22nd? Yes, sorry. Sunday the 22nd. 22nd. And, yes. and uh, uh, Urza, one, one last question. Uh, when do you have your meetings? Well, let me ask the question first. Are the pub- is the public open to attending the meetings, or do you have to be a member to attend the meetings? Well, you have to be a member to attend the meetings or be invited by a member, but on occasion we do open uh, meetings up to the public, and we're going to do more of that going forward, especially now that we're reaching our 70th anniversary. Fantastic. Eartha, thank you for connecting us to uh, the writers that are there with you, Mark and Diane and Judy and yourself. And uh, congratulations and good luck to the 70th uh, anniversary and let alone to the rest in the entirety of the uh, Schomburg Literary Festival that ends at, what, 6 o'clock New York time. So, what, two and a half hours, something like that. Thank you, Eartha. You're very welcome. Thank you, Danny. And we're going to have Thank Sonia you, Sanchez at 4 o'clock. So we're, we're all looking forward to it. Say that yes. again, Eartha. What's that at 4 o'clock? Uh, Sonia uh, Sanchez is, is leading a discussion at 4 o'clock. Oh. So we're all looking forward to that, too. So it's a lovely day in Harlem. That's fantastic, and thank you, all of you, for being on the show. And really thank look you, forward Danny. to talking to you, and congratulations. Good luck. Thank 70 you, 70 years, folks. Thank you. Not seven years, not 17 years, 7-0 seven seven Harlem Writers Guild. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, let me run and get my excellent. bag. That yes. was excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to run and get my bag so I can come back to the phone and say it to you. <laughs>